First of all, I'm sad that Jamie Foxx's daughter, Corinne, had to even refute this rap TV post that said the family was reportedly preparing for the worst. I'm glad that she said that Jamie's been out of the hospital for weeks and recuperating, even played pickleball. But I'm mad that rap TV even got this rumor started. So I asked myself, who is rap TV? Because they make all these posts about black people, hip hop communities, this and that. Who are these people that they could get a rumor going like this that she had to refute? And look who owns rap TV. Does this look like the person you thought owned Rap TV? Didn't look like it to me. Who else works at Rap TV? Let's just take a look. I went down to the LinkedIn. I said, well, who's over here? Who's who's in charge of the post? Well, look who we got here. Look at the head of content. Look at Griffin from. Wow, he's he's the head of content for Rap TV. Look at Jordan Mordini. He's the head of music partnerships at Rap TV. Look at Logan Stout, operations manager Rap TV. Look at Tyler Perry. That ain't the Tyler Perry I thought would be associated with rap TV. Why are people who look like this whole business rap TV? Look at their Instagram. Look at their posts. Look at the faces of the people on the posts. Look who they create stories about. Look how many followers they got just on Instagram. 10 million just on Instagram. On Twitter, they go viral all the time. They are apparently, according to them, the biggest hip hop community in the world. Daniel Snow's been a proven expert that's launched viral e-commerce brands himself over the course of three and a half years, generating close to $50 million in revenue. Off of who? Off of what? These are the people behind rap TV. And I'm not saying rap is only for black people and black culture, but they're creating stories that are false got the actual family of Jamie Foxx saying, oh man, we this ain't even true. Who is starting these rumors? And look who it is. Now I love Jamie Foxx. You know, I'm scared for him, praying for him, but I'm waiting for the family to say he's okay. But every day we got to deal with rumors like this. And then Rap TV gonna post her post and act like they aren't the ones that she's responding to. Cause it's just content to them. It don't matter what happens, who gets mad, none of that stuff. It's just content for them. They use that content to get brand deals and partnerships because we follow them and we click on them and they profit off a culture they didn't create. They benefit from it. And their top 10, 15 people on their LinkedIn, I don't see nobody who looks like a rapper. Come on.